Well, obviously, I'm not going to be able to use my insect aspirator to suck up any of the little insects. They're just plain too small. They, they'd end up in here and I wouldn't be able to find them. This is a common straight pin and I'm going to lay this down on the soil here. And we'll use it as a reference. That way you'll be able to see just how terribly small those little insects are. Now, no wonder I didn't notice them at first. They're only about half as long as that pin is wide. Now you may be interested to know that this 20 second clip that you just watched actually covered a period of 10 minutes. Now if there's one thing a workshop is notorious for, it's dust in the air. And when I'm changing my lenses, I want to make sure that I've got as much dust out of the air as possible. Okay, I'm going to use my table saw to do the last of this small insect on the plant project. It's a lot more stable than my uh, workbench. Well, my friend was over this morning and he brought me those close-up filters. Or close-up lenses, I guess you could call them. And uh, turns out that they're uh, 58 millimeter, and my lens is a 62. However, as it turns out, if I take this off, these will just nicely pressure fit into the adapter that goes from here to here. And uh, so we'll still be able to try this out. This should fit. Okay, what I want to do now is I want to check this out and I want to just test <clears throat> and I want to make sure that the uh, that these uh, close-up filters are actually going to help and not hinder. Uh, I know that they're going to make the image larger but if they also make it more fuzzy you're better off with a small sharp image than a larger fuzzy one. I hope you know what I'm talking about here. So. Uh, Right, right now, this lens is focused as close as it can get. That is the, the, the biggest magnification. What you see there is the actual image area in the camera. And uh, I'll open the lens right up here. Okay, 4.8 4. is the, is the uh, widest it'll go. And we'll just sort of twink up the focusing here. Well, maybe it'd be easier to slide the camera. Oh, it's just as hard. Anyway, that's about it. I'll turn this light on. That'll help a little. Okay. So now I can close my f-stop down. Okay, there I'm at f11. And I'm still only at 100 ISO, which is pretty good. I can close it down a little more. I find this camera works really good at high ISOs, so... Okay, here we are at f32, still 200 ISO, but that's because of this incredibly bright light here. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's the uh, image area when without the close-up filters. Now, these close-up filters come in 1 diopter, 2 diopters, and 4 diopters. And these glasses that I'm wearing, I think they're 1.5 diopters. So uh, we'll put on the maximum one and see, uh, put on the uh, 4 diopter lens and, uh, and just see how much bigger the area is. It'll be quite easy to compare. Okay, I have the 4 diopter lens uh, attached now. And let's see how it changes the magnification. Okay, I can tell right now I will not be using these lenses. And the reason for that is that even though it is much bigger, 
I can see with, with even just one lens, it's uh, pretty fuzzy there. Let's see what happens if I close it down. Maybe it'll get a little sharper here. Oh, that helps. Yeah, that helps considerably. Okay, I've got it closed down to f57. Now f57 is the most that this lens will close down at this focal length. And I don't want to, I could try and focus it a little better I guess. Well, you know, that might work. I'll give that a try. So we're shooting f57, 500 ISO, at a thirtieth of a second. Well, give it a try. See if we can see the legs on those little insects. Okay, I found a spot right about there where there seems to be quite a concentration of those little insects. I'll just put the head of the pin right there. Hope it doesn't scare them away. And then I'll just move right in with the macro lens with that four diopter attachment on it and see if we can actually see anything any better. Well, okay, we're shooting at f40, 4000 ISO, 30th of a second. And I think this is sharper, I'm not sure. I guess we'll know when we check it out on the computer. Oh, and by the way, right now it's running at normal speed. It's not uh, time lapse. They almost look like little centipedes. I don't see any legs at all. I need a microscope. I used to have a microscope when I was much younger. I think it was about 16, 17. I had a lot of fun with that. Well, I guess this is as good as I can get with what I got. I really do need a microscope. Those little bugs are just too small. They're unbelievably small. It's amazing something that small can live and walk around. Anyway, we'll see. Maybe I'll get a microscope. Watch for it.